Your Majesty, if you're going to seek the Oracle, I'm going to. No, son. We don't know what we're up against. You have to stay here with Rosella. This is my duty, and that is yours. But uh, you must stay here. Do you understand? Yes. So Caesar Batar, good to see you. Uh, thanks for joining us here. Thank uh, you very much, Frank. I'm so Caesar Batar, of course, from uh, Phoenix Online. You are the producer and designer. You can also say director. director yeah. <laughs> director in sort of Hollywood terms of uh, the Silver Lining, which, uh, for those who don't know, is uh, basically King's Quest Nine. You can call it that. Uh, uh, we cannot use the name, but not yes, officially. not officially. But yeah, it, the idea was to create a sequel to the games and bring the story to an end. God, it's been 12 years since we've last seen a King's Quest, and about 10 of those you've been trying to rectify that. Yes, we've been working for a long time on this, um, on and off, because we are um, we're a volunteer team. We're, we're spread all over the globe. We just do this on our part time, and it, it just started as a hobby, and it just it started to become this huge and huge and bigger thing. At the end, it, it, it really worked out, and, and yeah. I'm glad. Yes, just be prepared. We don't know what else may come. We will, Your Majesty. Even if people tend to confuse him for a commoner, this will always be Graham's favorite outfit. This is really good animation, especially for an amateur team. The, our art director is an animator. He's, been, he's worked on, he's done animations for uh, Final Destination 3, he's done animations for Fantastic Four, uh, the movie. What? He's really good at, at what he does. When the team reformed in 2002, I asked him to, you know, to help me direct the game, and, and we basically just became the, the two main directors of the game. You have other people who, who have professional experience, like even in the games industry on your team, right? We have, we have people that work on you know, Ubisoft and Activision. We want it to be big so that we can bring the people in, so we can make a, a better game. The main path continues through the arch and out. One of the reasons why it's taken so long is because it's been a learning experience. We always wanted to push the envelope. This for us, you know, we wanted to do a great King's Quest. Uh, if we were going to do it, we wanted to do it right. We always wanted to do better and better. We wanted to keep the, the classic feel of a Sierra game, but at the same time, we wanted to make it a lot more cinematic. We wanted to, you, you know, some of the influence that I had when I was writing the story was um, games like The Longest Journey, Dreamfall, um, even Final Fantasy, um, and Gabriel Knight. So I wanted, I wanted to bring King's Quest to that kind of uh, game. In this case, what we decided to do with that was just give, it, give the player some insight on the family. So much backstory that we didn't want to alienate uh, new people. Um, so if you haven't played any of the previous games, you're gonna find all that information in here somehow. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with him? That's what we're all wondering, my dear. <laughs> One of the things also that we wanted to break apart from, you know how. Normally, adventure games, it's, it's, they're really static. Uh, we wanted to break apart from that. We wanted to, to have a real cinematic experience where, you know, everybody that you talk to, everything that you see has a camera attached to it. Okay. Especially when you have long conversations, if you're you looking at two time. characters in there, it can get, you know, pretty heavy. The statue was raised in the name of one of Saladin's ancestors, the first dog to become guard for the Castle of the Crown. He performed so well that Kasima's ancestors started recruiting more dogs for the job, 
until it became a tradition. What's, what's really cool about this game, I mean, technically it's a fan game. It is. It's almost professional. You yes. Know, it, we could never hope for an actual King's Quest sequel. You know, this is the best we're going to get. This is probably better than an official one would have been. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, so, you know, I'm very excited to play this. To me, in my heart, you know, this is the next King's Quest. Like, this is this is the one that's going to happen. That's very flattering. And, and that's exactly, you know, what we wanted to do with it. We wanted to be able to get fans really excited about this game because, you know, um, I mean, we at Phoenix Online Studios, we wanted to continue making games about uh, and bring back, you know how Telltale has kind of brought back the, the LucasArts adventure period? We want to do the same, but with the Sierra period.